These are the instructions for Workplace 2C Target Practice. For this game, each, player, each pair of player needs one spinner overlay, two target practice record sheets, and pencils. Player one is going to start by spinning the first spinner twice and the second spinner twice. Now, I've already done that here, and for my spins, I got 12, 6, 3, and 4. My goal is to choose denominators for these unit fractions here so that I get as close to one as possible when I add them together. So as I looked at my denominators of 12, 6, 3, and 4, I have to picture in my mind what those fractions look like. So if I have 12ths, here's what a 12th looks like. 6th, here's what a 6th looks like. Thirds, here's thirds and fourths, if I'm trying to get as close to a whole circle as I can, it looks like to me, I'm going to pick my two larger pieces, which would be a third and a fourth. So that's why I put those here and here. Now, once I did that, I can't add these two fractions the way they are because they don't have common denominators. So I had to come over here and work on these so that I, I got equivalent fractions with the same denominator. And in this case, 12 worked really well as my denominator. So now I have for one third, I now I'm going to call that four twelfths. And for one fourth, I will now call that three twelfths. I'm going to add those together here and get my sum. And then I'm going to think about how far away was I from one? I was trying to get as close as I could, but I know that 12 twelfths is one. So if I only have seven twelfths, then I am five twelfths away from one. So I am going to put that five twelfths is my score. All right, so that is player one's score. Now, player two does the same thing. I have already spun ahead for player two. These were the spins. Once again, I would choose the largest fraction pieces, just like we did for player one. We come over here and do the same equivalent fraction work that we did for player one. And we ended up with the same two fractions just by chance. We ended up with 3 twelfths and 4 twelfths. Add those together, we get 7 twelfths. So player 2 was also 5 twelfths away from 1. So in, in this round, this one was a tie because we both got the same um, distance away from 1. So each player then can circle circle that. If it had not been a tie, then only the winner would have circled their score. And then we keep playing exactly the same way except for one thing. In the second round and all the following rounds, we bring down the numbers that we did not use from the first round. So player one and player two will bring these down. That means that each person only needs to spin this spinner once and this spinner once for the future rounds. At the end, whoever has won the most rounds wins the game.